Hello. In the previous video, we saw how to use shape files along with add polygons to add shapes to world map. In this video, we'll see how to use shape click event using an example such that if I click on a particular shape or in this case um, a particular country it zooms in I'm in my working directory and if I list files I have the R script along with the shape files we start with loading the required packages we load the leaflet package RG Dell package shiny package okay we load the shape files using read OGR function this comes from RG Dell package and the shape files are loaded uh, to the SPDF or spatial polygon data frame object since we are using shiny so we have got the ui and server dot r uh, server components in the ui what we are doing is we are displaying the map using leaflet output object sorry leaflet output function my map is the output object and in the absolute panel we are just uh, showing a uh, the help text or basically a message saying welcome to the world map in the server section we have the same code we used last time except that it's under within the render leaflet function we are saying leaflet data equals my spdf we added tiles set the view this is going to be the initial view we are going to set up um, and then we add polygons basically the shapes and we have given different arguments fill color as green highlight options so that when we mouse over it highlights and the color changes to red we have also given the label as name remember the name is a column variable in the spdf uh, my spdf object next we will use leaflet proxy but before that let me explain you a bit about shape click event when we click on a shape it is captured in input dollar my map shape click so uh, what happens is this is the general syntax right input dollar this one is your map object now in my case i have the output map object as my map in your case it might be whatever you would like to have it may be map one map two map my map then we say underscore shape underscore click so th this when whenever we are talking about shape click event this is this part is going to be same and input dollar is going to be there the only thing which is going to change is based on your uh, output map object name uh, replace my map with the output map object when a particular shape is clicked input dollar my map underscore shape underscore underscore click will return the shape id or the layer id i should say it's the layer id if the layer id is defined if no layer id is defined it will it will not return the uh, layer id it will return the latitude and longitude of the shape Okay. wherever we click it it will capture the latitude and longitude and the layer ID and when there is no click on the shape the input dollar map underscore shape underscore click will return a null 
choose observe within observe we will uh, we have a dependency on the event click event and then we'll use leaflet proxy and with the help of leaflet proxy we are updating the existing map and we are setting the view using the latitude and longitude returned by input dollar my map underscore shape underscore click so i will say longitude equals click dollar lng because lng has the longitude that we got from the shape click event and the latitude and we also set the zoom as 5 so this way whenever the user will click uh, on the shape wherever it is clicking the uh, it will capture the latitude and longitude and the zoom level is set to 5 and based on that the map will be updated every time the user click on it let's run the app now as you can see if i click anywhere on the shape the zoom is adjusting what i would like to see is adjust this in such a way that wherever i click on a particular shape it doesn't change its zoom we can adjust that i guess what i'm going to do is I'm going to use the latitude and longitude from the spatial polygon data frame so that my latitude and longitude for a particular shape remains constant versus varying it based on where I click on the shape. 